What is going on everybody? Hey, what are we all doing and welcome back today to another brand new Bundesliga Team of the Season play review and today we are going to be taking a look at the Frankfurt and Mexican attacking midfielder Marco Fabian who's picked up this 88 rated Team of the Season card. Looks incredible, some great stats and a very, very reasonable price card as well so if you do enjoy this review as always, make sure to leave a big thumbs up on the video, subscribe if you're new around here, but we're going to kick things off now with the basic information. And for Fabian, or Fabian, not quite sure how he pronounces it, he's standing at 5 foot and 7 inches tall. He's got high to medium work rates and 4 star skill moves and a 4 star weak foot as well. Looking at his top 5 and base card stats, he's got a very nice looking card, 88 rated overall. Cam is his position, he comes in 78 pace, 90 dribbling, 90 shooting, 88 passing, 81 physical and 47 defending. Top 5 in games, 99 agility, 96 shot power, 94 penalties, 94 free kick accuracy and 93 long shots. Comes with a few traps and specialities, those are flair, long shot taker and playmaker as well. Looking at the team that we used to me, you can see on the screen now we're playing the 4 3 1 2. Got him in that camp position, of course, and in the five games that we played with this team, he came away with five goals and no assists. It's one of those, I think he could have got some assists, but I was determined to score some nice goals with him. So, where uh, perhaps in times when I could have played a through ball, I was banging him from range just because his long shot is absolutely outstanding. And as we start to roll the tips of Mr. Fabian in action now, He's, um, he's a very fun card to use. He's extremely, extremely agile. That's the first thing that I really noticed with him and something that really stood out to me. His dribbling and agility were second to none. And although he's not the quickest player, his acceleration is also absolutely blinding. Fantastic at getting away from defenders initially. But the first major, neg major negative sorry, that I'm going to talk about is his sprint speed, which just is not good enough. His acceleration, I'd say, is fantastic. But so often, I played him through on goal. He seemed to be have the defender beaten and he just get caught up and absolutely thrown off the ball because he's not particularly strong either but I don't think it's the fact that he's, he's super weak, I just think it's that he's not quick enough to, to get away so any defender is going to be able to shove, shove him off the ball basically. If you can look past that, his long shots like I've already mentioned are absolutely fantastic, particularly finesse shots where I had lots of fun, you're going to see a few goals where he's in the edge of the box just bending them in which is always a fantastic trait to have, especially in that central attacking midfield position, be able to pop them in from positions where you perhaps you know that there's nothing on he can still sometimes get a goal. Passing is also very very decent and the price of this card as I briefly mentioned at the start currently going for around 40k for the stats that you get I think 40k is a bit of a steal to be honest especially when you look at some of the other prices of the Bundesliga team of the season players this guy seems to have gone a bit under the radar it is a bit of a steal in my opinion overall I'm going to be giving him an 8.6 out of 10 the two negatives that he has are two pretty major ones really sprint speed being the, the, the main one I mean like I say, it can be a bit crippling when you get in on goal and he just gets caught up and thrown off the board and that again comes into play with strength being his other major, major negative. But it's one of those cards, I think if you know how to get around players that haven't got the most strength and sprint speed, this card can do a lot of work for you because it's incredibly weavy, great dribbling, great agility, fantastic long shots, decent, uh, decent passing as well. So he ticks a lot of the boxes that you need for a good camp. And I think, like I say, if you're someone that's used to using people that aren't particularly strong, you could get a lot out of this Fabian card. But that is going to end up this video, lads. Like I said at the start, leave a big thumbs up if you did enjoy it. Let me know if you've used Fabian and how you got along with him. And that is going to end up the video, lads. So uh, leave a big thumbs up if you did enjoy it. I'll speak to you all in the next video. Need you out.